thanks for having me on. Oh man, yeah. thank you for having me, man. Thank you, appreciate you. I'm doing good. How are you? It's my pleasure, man. This will be fun. I'm uh, I'm happy to talk to you guys. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to be on the show. Uh, be a fan of Moneyball now forever. Awesome. Love awesome. it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Moneyball Channel. Tonight, I have a couple of special guests with me. I have Andy Wheeler and I have PJ Two Disco. You got it. <laughs> got to make it like that, it. right? Uh, these these couple of cats here, uh, creative geniuses, if you will, uh, came up with Red Zone Fast Break Football. And I'm really, really excited for them to kind of give us uh, a breakdown of, number one, what the heck it is, number two, where the idea came from, and number three, uh, what future plans are with this in the area. So I'm going to be starting a segment within the next couple of episodes um, where it's it's going to be some local, organic, farmed, buffalo, tried and true, uh, you know, guys and gals that, that are really trying to break through with some innovative ideas that they've come up with. And I think it's going to be really exciting and add a lot to the show. So first of all, thank you guys so much for coming on. How's everything going tonight? Great. Fantastic, man. Thanks for having us. This is, this is a lot of fun, and we're happy to see you again, just like we met last time, man. It's so good to, to connect and, and stay connected. You know, I'm not going to be doing any modeling this time, so I I didn't want to disappoint you. I mean, we'll see how it goes. If a special request, maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But that was a lot of fun that night. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm glad I got to link up with you guys. And I like your cutoff uh, get up there. It's sort of the Bill Belichick, you know. You know what? Uh, so this is going to say beatbox boxing on it. This Trish just said, "Hey, try this on." This is one of the Vegas shirts, and she said it looked good, so keep it on. So it's nice. You know, I can rip the sleeves off if you want. Thank you. I think you look great, man. And it's the fact that your wife thinks you look good. I mean, that's that's a win-win. All that oh, yeah. matters, right? Right. So tell me a little bit about this fast break football, guys. Um, right from the genesis here. Go break break it right down. And, uh, you know, like I've never even heard about it. And, and you know, tell me what's going on. Yeah. So Andy and I um, had done some work with another local company, um, had a couple of games that we worked on with, with them. And we understood that, you know, football at that point, there was a lot of concern about player safety. And it was kind of that big heyday of, of what was going on. And, and we wanted to create a game that was a number one safe. The second thing we want to do is make sure that, um, you know, limiting with football is you need a lot of people, right? 11 on 11 is a perfect game. Growing up in the neighborhood, if you got five on five, you got lucky, three on three. And then it started to not be, you know, as fun or as uh, engaging. So we wanted a game that, in, you know, involved as few players as possible, but also as many as you would need. So we had kind of the two core requirements and we thought to ourselves, we can, we can do this. And um, uh, Andy, well, I'll kind of turn it over to you, how we got into the, the game yeah. play. So um, we're also real sick of watching kids. Like it always ended up being like all time quarterback. You know, you got the yeah. one kid, he takes over and then you got like a yeah. mess. Of kids running around trying to catch the ball and you yes. know, over. we're like, this is garbage. This is not football. Yes. yes. And so we're, we're sitting around, one night as we usually do around a campfire, we are constantly around a fire. It's just something, I don't know <laughs> if it's primal or whatever, but we're hanging out. A <laughs> couple of cavemen, right? Yeah, a couple yeah. of cavemen <laughs> making, making meat, having drinks. And um, we're like, okay, if we take all that and put it together, what PJ said, like less people, a little bit safer, um, you know, and bring the fun, the really fun parts of football together, what would that look like? And so that's how we kind of came up with this game. And the first thing we thought of was like, remember American Gladiators when they used to try to get past the defender oh, yeah. and put the ball in the goal? Yeah. And we're like, okay, we need a finite point. We need a goal that you got to get the ball in. And, you know, let's put them out 20 yards apart, red zone. So, perfect. you know, you got the 20 yards. It's a decent amount of space. It doesn't take, you know – it doesn't take two lawns. It's now one lawn. It's your backyard. And uh, that's really how we started formulating the gameplay. And what's really funny about the bonfire comment is the first time we set up these two goals, 20 yards apart and started thinking about names and uh, gameplay, we immediately thought of fast break because we were kind of just tossing the ball like ultimate Frisbee. We're like, 
this is fun. Yeah. Then we start thinking about all the other competitive sports that exist, whether it's soccer, hockey, basketball. The f- most fun thing to watch as a fan, the most fun thing to do as a player is get in that fast break situation where it's, you know, two on two and three on three. And we said, that's it. How yeah. do we incorporate kind of this ultimate Frisbee fast break concept? And we develop that kind of four downs. Uh, it's essentially four passes of the ball. It can go forward, backward. It can go as fast as you want. It can go as slow as you want. And um, <laughs> the funny thing is about like the second night we played, Andy had this glow up football. And we're playing with it middle of the night. And we are running full speed back and forth in his backyard. And we stopped. We're winded. We're like, this was such a good workout. This game is going to be great. We're kind of, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other with rules. And we thought to ourselves, like, what the heck are your neighbors going to think, dude? Like, this glow in the dark football is going back and forth. We're just yeah. sweating and panting. And we thought, like, you know what? If this is this fun in the middle of the night with a glow in the dark football, how great is this going to be with a ball like this? Yeah. In the middle of the daytime. And um, that's kind of how it was, how it was born from an, an idea standpoint. A lot of, back and forth with rules and gameplay and, you know, trial and error had tons of people playing the game to give us feedback. And that's kind of, that's, that's kind of how we invented it or the idea, how it that kind of grew. Impulse is revolutionizing the physical therapy experience for active individuals in Western New York. From marathon runners to warriors of the weight room, we've got you covered. Our cutting edge technology takes sports specific testing to the next level. Our patient centered approach lets you drive your own recovery. You can expect individualized one-on-one sessions every time you're here. And the game changer? Impulse is home to Western New York's only public board certified sports PT. If you're ready to get back in the game, call Impulse today and mention Moneyball for $100 off your first visit. So was it, it was never meant to be a night thing, right? It just so happened that that's when you thought of it and said, it sounds like, you know, one of those things that uh, if you're anything like me and my buddies, when you come up with the idea you immediately got to try it, right, to see if it's going to work. So that's where that came in. Right. And like you said, we're always around a fire. We tend to yeah. hang out in the evenings. We are, you know, both married, our, our wives and our kids, you know, yeah. it's important for us to be home with the family. So Andy and I have been working together and we've known each other for 20 something years, but like doing this idea stuff for maybe the last 10 or 12, it's always at night because then the kids are in bed. The wives can't right, get too right, angry. Right. And we're just hanging out on <laughs> a fire. So, that's why it was nighttime. It was never intended to be yeah. that. Maybe someday we'll put a night game on, but um, that's kind of where it started and like kind of how Andy and I think about invention. So how does an idea, um, right? I mean, I think myself and and I'm sure many of us and and yourselves, you know, included as well, prior to the inception of, of Fast Break have thought of a million things. How does an idea become a reality? So how do you take this thought of, you know, a a couple of dudes in the back, you know, popping some tops, playing a little bit of football, right? And and then it becomes, okay, you know what? We're serious about this. We don't want to just mess around. We want to kind of make this uh, a prototype or or see how this is going to catch on and see if we can potentially make something about this. How does that, how does that fade, you know, how does that transition happen? Yeah, that's, um, so that is the million dollar question, right? We we did have a head start. We had um, we, you know, we worked on like PJ said, we worked with another company uh, locally, Can Jam, on a, another project. So we had some idea, specifically about a game. How does a game become a prototype, then an idea, and then get it to market? We also um, so uh, I, I have a patent. Um, we we also have really weird backgrounds for. <laughs> making games uh, right now. Like I'm a physical therapist, PJ's in finance and banking and, and all this other stuff. So that, you know, really lends itself to nothing <laughs> for this. <laughs> right. Right. But I, um, I had an idea back in college and I, um, I was able to patent uh, a therapy device. And so that took me years to do, but I had that kind of prior knowledge. Um, you know, how do you make this real? And then, okay. Yep. Of course, PJ comes along and he helped me with that project. I had what you might call writer's block and with, the, with the therapy project, with the therapy project. And okay. so we, we clicked after all those years of knowing each other. This was like a new a new way that we clicked. So yeah. we immediately saw that we worked really well together and that we could bounce ideas off each other. And and that's how that started. Um, we, we knew we could at least get it to the next step of uh trying to get it to market. And, and a good point too, is we talked about, you know, we, 
<clears throat> one thing we believe in, and I know we'll get to this this part of the story in a little bit, but um, <clears throat> Andy, creative genius, we'll start thinking of stuff, we'll bounce ideas off of each other, we'll start building upon those ideas, and we start with this you know thing, and then it becomes a little bit different, a little bit better, and we do go these iterations. So Andy's got that, and you know where where kind of you know this this fun partnership and friendship works best is, you know my responsibilities are who can we talk to. Like somebody else has done a game before. Let's go talk to them and learn from them. Somebody else, you know, has a contact that knows somebody to, to, to just get us to grow and answer questions for us. So we are not shy. We uh, actually have a, a saying that's been guiding us for the last 10 or 12 years. It's never be greedy. Always find a partner. So this isn't about getting rich. And I like being, that. I like that. It's, um, you know, do what's right. Bring the right people in your group and, the rest of it will happen and it'll work out. And it's not about the money. It's about, you know, seeing the idea go and, and hit store shelves, you know, um, have a absolutely, contract. absolutely great attitude there, man. It really is. And I think you're going to get a lot farther, you know, that, that not be greedy. What's the old saying? It's, it's, uh, you know, pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered. Right. Um, and I love the fact that, you know, you mentioned that and it's not, Hey, we're going to, I think a lot of the time, you know, people get a little bit jaded or disillusioned when, when there's too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Because they think it's all going to be, it's all going to slim their profit margin, right? So this guy can't be involved or this guy can't be involved. But if you go into it open-minded and say, this guy might give us so much, you know, creativity, or this guy might give us so much, uh, advertising, whatever it is, right. You're willing to accept that as long as they don't suck all the, all the profit out. Right. I mean, you still need a little something there. Yeah. Um, so where does, where does this stand now? I guess for anyone who's watching and they say, okay, cool, you know, fast break football. I mean, what, you know, I, I haven't heard of it or, or where is it, where does it stand right now? So, um, we are, you know, I think, any day now, we will have, well, you have a component of the game is this goal, right? There's the two goals on either side. Um, Andy's been working directly with the manufacturers. That's one of his responsibilities is dealing with suppliers and manufacturers. We should have our plastic any day now. We're like quite literally, I check my phone all the time, seeing if Andy texted me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we'll have our footballs. We'll have our goals. We'll have our labels. We'll have our, our websites up and running and our Instagram presence. And, and the really okay. cool thing is... Um, We've got two really awesome people also on this team. One of them is, uh, you know, contact we had in the gaming space who knows everything there is to know about um, distribution and and all the manufacturers and the school mm -hmm. programs. The guy's brilliant. And then our, you know, most recent partner uh, is Stevie Johnson, mm -hmm. Buffalo Bills legend. Mm -hmm. We can get into that story in a little bit. That's obviously how we met, um, you know, at that event with, with Stevie. So, uh, we are. Let's dive right into that. I mean, how did you guys end up linking up with them? <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> when right before uh, COVID, Andy and I had uh, um, said we're going to re redo this game. We're going to bring it back to life. You know, we had done it. It, it had a little bit of success. Kind of died on so the not, So sorry to sorry to cut you off here, but this is so this. I guess give give the people. I mean. You know, it's not an overnight success, right? Just like well, any good thing, it takes time. So this right. is you say pre-COVID. So we've been working on this for how long? How long total have, have has this conception? So six or seven years, yeah. I'd say. Wow. Yeah. wow, wow. It's crazy because like, and I know PJ was gonna get into that, but it had a little success, right? So we we licensed the idea with our original partners, and you know, it it made it to store shelves, but it, it did. Was, okay. It, yeah. Well, it was just set on store shelves. There was no advertising. There was no okay. juice behind it. It, it, it made it to the shelves and it sat on the shelves. Exactly. And it, <laughs> I mean, okay. you know, we had no, no presence in the marketplace. And, uh, you know, some people might think like, okay, well, it's dead in the water, right? And to be honest, we sort of thought that too. Yeah. Uh, until... We were thinking like, I wonder if we can get the rights back to the game, the intellectual property. Oh, we did. Okay. We got it signed back over to us. Okay. You know, we're still we're still coming out of COVID, and um, you know, we're we would always bring it up like, can we get this game back going? What would that take? And then, you know, insert the the connection with Stevie Johnson, and, yep. and you know, that's what PJ was referencing. We we had picked like we knew we needed an athlete involved, so we had. You know, we need to be realistic, right? We're not going to get, you know, um, 
Tom Brady or, or, you know, some huge, you know, worldwide phenomenon to be like, yeah, that game looks really cool. We're going to, we're going to go on. We also didn't want somebody that was just an athlete and didn't care about the city, didn't care about the community. Right. And we're going through, we're just thinking about these, these, you know, uh, potential opportunities. And we had two people in mind. Okay. First one was Josh Allen because he was a rookie. We're like, Hey, maybe we can meet this guy. We had some mutual connections through some of the startup community. Yep. Um, and there was a little bit of glimmer of hope there. And ultimately it was, this guy's going to be busy. And we kind of fell off and we said, don't worry about it. The second person, literally the second person on our list was Stevie Johnson. Okay. You know, super community focused. He runs the uh, exposure academies. He's got football yep. camps all over yep. the country. And from our first impression, when we, you know, see this guy in front of the camera or talking or, you know, following him on social media, he seemed pretty genuine and authentic. So we're like, this guy's perfect. Reached out to him. Didn't get any um, uh, response right away. And, you know, fast forward maybe a year and a half, two years later, I said, I'm going to, I got to ping it again. And I tried it again within minutes. He responded and said, this looks really cool. We sent some videos and um, I think it was 48 hours, 72 hours later, we're on the phone with him. Um, maybe three days after that, he's in Buffalo for a you know pre-planned trip mm -hmm. and played the game with him in the middle of this outdoor rink in East Aurora. He said, I love it. I want in. How do we do this? Really? And that was it, man. It was, he played the game. And this is the way most people play this game for the first time. Within five to seven minutes, you get it. The rules make sense. There's not a lot of questions. Yeah. And people go, I love it. That's awesome. And it's, we're not being, you know, blowing smoke anywhere. Right, right. This is what Stevie said. He's like, I get it. This makes total sense. I love it. He started like, what about this? What about this? And it was there. And he has been a phenomenal uh, partner. Um, anyone who's had the pleasure of meeting him and making acquaintance with him, that, that guy is, 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 is fantastic as we're saying. And we're really, really happy to be working with him because just, from a vision and, and, and kind of value standpoint, that's what we're about. Yeah. And he, he fits that, that totally. He's, he's right on the level of an Andy Wheeler uh, with that creative genius stuff. I'll tell you what, um, you know, again, fortunate enough to have met and kind of fell into the same type scenario with Stevie. And uh, I have absolutely zero, you know, negative to say about, about the man. And, and on the contrary, um, exceptional, you know, exceptional person who, who you're right truly does care about giving back and, you know, talk about someone who, who the greedy and is not in it for the money. He's just all about collaborating, getting people together and seeing what the next great idea can be, you know, um, people like he's got this, you know, network of HBHF creators and there's all these different people from all walks of life doing different all walks of life. Right. It's from myself it's, to you, to, to, you know, a guy who might live across the street, who's 86 years old. I mean, yeah, it's, and, yeah. and that's, he's just so open-minded about it, you know, and, and what a great guy, you know, again, to, to have in your corner with it because of his reputation alone. And obviously in my opinion, still um, the best route runner maybe of all time. Right. And and I know that his, his peers feel that about him. Right. So he still has a very, very good, you know uh, he's still legendary when it comes to uh, former NFL players, he's so highly regarded and respected that if he goes out and says, Hey, this game, man, is sweet. You got to try it. They're going to listen. You know, um, yeah. it's funny you say with Josh Allen in his rookie year, because things have certainly changed from that rookie year. I, I wish uh, I had met you guys maybe that year and I might've had a little bit more of an in for you, uh, yeah. you know, with, with my affiliations. Uh, but after that first year, man, things, things certainly changed. And now, now, now my so, yeah, <laughs> this guy's, you know, now he's, he's, he's getting somewhat untouchable. Right. I mean, but he is what he is and uh, he's the face and, and, and franchise, you know, franchise and future of Buffalo. So can't complain there. What's up, Moneyball family. I'm here to tell you about smash burgers from Buffalo bros burgers. Going to be open in a storefront in the village of Hamburg. And in the meantime, you can find them on the website wherever they're going to be in town, you're gonna to wanna to turn up and show out because they have some delicious burgers. Smash Burger is a couple of burgers smashed on a bun with some cheese dripping down. You hungry yet? Check out the Smash Burger from Buffalo Bros Burgers, man. It's good stuff. Um, so let's go over quick. Let's let's kind of give me a synopsis on the scoring, right? So break down the game itself, right? So is it uh, how long of a field and, and uh, 
Uh, you say the gladiator running through, and all I'm thinking about is the is the guy with the long blonde hair shooting things at you. <laughs> uh, what was his name? Thunder Thundercat or something? Ice yeah. Iceman. Ice Man. Yeah, one of those guys, man. It's funny. Yeah. Netflix had a big series on those not too long ago. It was like all what happened to them all, and you yeah. know, half of them died of steroids, and the other half yeah. were like just gonna say cocaine that. rings, and <laughs> they're all yeah. But yeah. nobody's shooting at you when you have the ball, right? No, I mean we could incorporate that maybe. You heard it here <laughs> hey, first. you know what? Might be onto something. I see, I see you have the ball in your hand. It's not a it's not a full size football, correct? So that so fun fact about the footballs, um, although it did start with that light up ball, which was similar similarly sized as the ball we have. We've literally tried every size ball that's made. Um, I mean, to the point where we were ordering stuff from China, had no idea what was going to come in. Like you're getting these DHL packages and oh yeah, they're like quadruple wrapped with tape and everything. And I'm like, I don't even know if this is a ball in here. <laughs> it's, it's it's scary sometimes when you got to open it. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> we tried every size ball and we, we kept coming back to this one. We're like, listen, nobody here is Joe Montana. Yeah. You want to be able to feel like you're Joe Montana yeah. <laughs> or Josh Allen. Yeah. So we, we settled on this ball. I mean, you can whip this thing. You can spiral it. Almost every, every age group can throw this ball. Every yeah. age group can catch this ball. And, so. you can, and you can grip it, right? Because the, the end game here is you're, you're, you're going in, right? You're dunking it in the – Right. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you need to be able to grip the thing. Right. I mean, and, and I'm I'm excited as heck to play this. Right. Like, I mean, I don't know if we can get something going for Thanksgiving, Turkey Bowl, you know, whatever. But yeah. I'm really excited to get, you know, and, and play this and show you guys out a little bit. Show the old skills. Right. Towns versus South Towns. Really yeah. Funny. What's that? Towns versus South Towns. And listen, man, I can assemble a team. No problem. How many people are on it? How many people are on a team? And do they sub in and out? Like, let's yeah. Like, give me the give me the. Yeah. Whole, yeah. yeah. So you, so the, the goals are essentially a cone, right? They're an oversized cone. They're about uh, two and a half feet tall. We do have one. We'll, we'll bring it over in a second. But Yeah, I'd like to see it, yeah. So you set your goals apart, 20 yards. Okay. We, rec we recommend three on three, up to five on five, if you want. Okay. So you're three, you're three guys, so um, including yourself, so you're, you're two uh, other players. You set up at your goal. Okay. And you have to start with, I mean, we like saying fast break. You could say hike, you could say go, whatever. So as soon as you say fast break, your receivers are now in the field. And the beauty, the beauty about this game is uh, there's no predetermined sidelines or end lines or anything. It's, it's infinite, right? The, the world is your oyster at that point, okay. um, which some people might think, okay, that's crazy. But listen, you're not, why are you going to throw it 50 yards if you can throw it 10? Yeah. So your receivers go into the field. They're running around trying to get open. Somebody's open. You throw it to them. That's throw number one, right? So you have four throws or AKA four downs. So your receivers out there, you throw it to them. Say they, they drop the ball. It's an incomplete pass. Okay. So you go right back to the line of scrimmage, which is right, where back, you're... right back to where you started. And then you, you say hike or go or fast break again, and then boom, they're off. And now you're at second down. And the point is, right, to with four throws, make it to your goal. And if you get it in the goal, that's seven points. It's a touchdown. At any time, though, you can throw the ball and hit the goal, and that's three points. That's your, your field goal. Okay. At any time. First down. First yeah. down if you want to go for it, right? So, and how, how far is it? What's the length of it? About 20 yards. 20 yards. So it's 20 wide and 20, 20, 20? Why technically there's no out of bounds? Oh, you, you said infinite. Okay, all right. But you said the cones though twenty. Yeah. Right. Twenty yards. So there's no out of bounds. Either side, it's kind of like lacrosse. Right now, we say it's infinite because we didn't want to have to worry about limiting and you know uh, having out of bounces. For the most part, the game is staying very concentrated in kind of what the field of play is. So you know, the three field on three never... or five on five. I I really don't think you're going to have somebody running uh, thirty yards out to the to the right. I mean. Doesn't that wouldn't help you? You gotta so, go. You gotta go forward, right? So, and the cool thing is, is in, in a perfect world, right? You know, there's three or four passes, and the quick down, it can go. You know, pass forward. He quickly laterals it back. Next guy throws it forward as the other guy's running in and slam dunks. They can go real fast. You can get a scoring play in two seconds, right? What else can happen is you can, um, if if the defender, there's three ways to play. There's tag, 
one hand touch, you're done. You're done. Right. So the line of scrimmage is where you got that. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. So, so it's somebody catches it. It's one hand touch that plays over. Yeah. You can yeah. Because okay. one hand touch, it can get a little bit violent. People get pushed. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Yep. Yep. Great flags. So we've got tag and flags. Same gameplay, just one's tags, one's flags. Okay. And then we um, the pivot rule, which is just like it sounds, just like basketball. You catch that ball, you've got three steps in any direction. As soon as you make those th- three steps, you got to stop and you're pivoting. Ah, and you're okay. Pivoting. So okay. there's ways to incorporate different gameplays, different, um, you know, kind of athletic um, approaches to the game. And, you know, now we've also got the money ball version of, of somebody shooting at you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. So there's no running, right? There's no running back. Um, unless, no, unless, of course, you wanted to hand it off and the guy could throw it and hit it. Absolutely, but that me handing it to him is considered a pass. Right? It is okay. So no first downs. Four, 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 four passes. Exactly. What if it's intercepted? You're going right back the other way. That's so that great. that team now has possession. They they have that ball in their hand. They can take off, run with it, right? So if say you're playing tag rules, we we love playing the tag rule. If they get tagged right away, okay, that's that's now first down for that team that just intercepted. But that doesn't matter. They can, or it, it matters if they get tagged. But if they don't get tagged or downed, they can throw it right away. Okay. Okay. Your team in the other direction. So they could throw it right away, or they could run down and they could dunk it. Sure. Yeah. If they're un- unimpeded, yeah, for sure. Pick six. And uh, fumbles. Can somebody fumble? Can you knock it out of hands or no? As soon as that ball is fumbled, it just stops. We don't want anybody diving on the ball again. It's all that ball. Like, okay. Okay. You know what I love about this as you're as you're describing it, and I think you had mentioned it right, you know, in the inception of the conversation, every age, right? Like that that's really what I'm what I'm connecting. I mean, you could almost uh play this on a beach, right? Yeah. You, you you know, any age you could have kids. My kids could be playing it in in, in the cul-de-sac. Um, you know, that's what I like about it. It's it's almost a mobile, well, it is. It's it's a it's a mobile football game that exactly. you have right nailed it <laughs> nailed it it's a it's a, mo- it's a mobile football game which um is very very unique and um i think it'll catch on like wildfire as soon as people kind of see it and get the hang of it so um i'm certainly going to post you know i want you guys sending me a, a few videos of you guys playing and that's going to go on this you know before or after and in between can i see the cone that you guys had mentioned yeah, yeah let me, sure let me go grab that so Thank this you. is a prototype. Um, I'm not going to show the hole. So this is actually one of the one of the prototypes. Again, our other their heart, the real stuff's coming in soon. So essentially, that's the comb, right? Okay. Okay. Connects. There's tabs. It's super durable. People yep. will think oh, it's just in plastic. It's not. This stuff can't be you know torn. It can't be uh, ripped. It's going to last through a hurricane. It's amazing. Um, but that's the goal. You pin it down with anything? No. So it's down. Now, that's one of the questions that you can't see back there on the ground. So it will fall over. Yeah. And that's what we wanted. The reason being is that some of the pro- prototypes that we had done where we had fixed to the ground, it increased the chance of injury. Somebody yeah. falls on top of this, yeah. it's going to collapse, and that's great. It's going to tip over. That makes it safer. It was super, when they were super rigid and super strong, we saw an increase of like even just us messing around. It hurt. We're like, we, it has to. It has to kind of collapse. It has to be a little bit safer. I love that you did research on that. You know, like that you guys really thought about that stuff, especially with kids. You guys have kids, and you know how it is. So the um, if it's uh, if it's tipped over on the ground, can you still dunk it and hit it? Is that points, or does it have to be upright? So let's just say somebody knocked it over by mistake, yep. right? Or the uh, or the wind the wind blows it over. Wind could blow sure. it over absolutely. So we would just stop the play. If it was second down or, you know, you hadn't thrown your second pass yet, it would just pick up right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. So, so that, you know, on purpose, you know, there's some rules. I won't get too nitty gritty, but, um, you know, after. My, one, my I- thought in hearing this, number one is uh, is leagues, right? And getting involved with leagues. I mean, there's everything now from from pickleball to to curling downtown Buffalo to flag football leagues are becoming very, very, you know, prevalent. Um, right to buying the home kits and playing wherever the heck you want, right? So is that how it's going to be sold as a home kit? Or, you know, you buy the whole kit time kind of thing? 
Yeah, so we, look, version one to so 1.0, you know, you get the two goals, a ball, um, and then we have uh, other iterations where, you know, you get the, the the super package where it's like, you know, I guess you'd call them a set, but six sets, sets of um, of flags. Yep, yep. Uh, you could even include, like, we're even thinking about, you could include, uh, you know, the little mini cones that you use for practice and everything. Of course, for of course. Yeah, like the drills and cross training. Yeah. Right, right. So you, you can you can include those type of things if you want to add in um, maybe your, your route running and, yep. you know, hit, hit the post type of thing. So different versions like that. We're, we're I thinking like that one. You'd set it up almost as a kit, you know, and say like this is the, 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 the training kit, right? So you got your base model and then you got your your upgraded with the training kit and you give exactly like you said, you got the flags. And you just got the cones so you can go out and practice. That'll, you know, that the kids will like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. and and me. So and the adults, I guess. You know what I mean? But I love it, guys. I I, I think the idea is very, very unique. Um, you know, things get stale after a certain amount of time, right? I mean, when everything comes out, maybe it's Cam Jam, maybe it's uh, uh pardon me for anyone who plays this, but bouncing the ball off the trampoline. Bike ball. <laughs> You know, whatever that is. And, and I see it on beaches all the time. I mean, uh, anywhere I go, I still take paddle ball. I still get the wooden paddle ball and I go and I draw with the paddle ball. I draw a whole court in the sand on any beach I'm at and I play with my kids and we're diving around. Right. But like you're creating that game. And, and now I can be like, hey, go grab the, you know, go grab fast break. Let's get after it. You know? Yeah. We I was going to say, there's so we've talked about, you know, three on three, four on four, whatever. We've had times where it's just him and I, and we're just kind of messing around and we'll do like, like kind of like pig or horse or whatever. And all right, I'll throw far away and just take target practice at the goal, just, you know, to mess around. Yeah. So do something to do as well. I mean, we don't do that a ton, but there's so many uses. And like you said, man, it just, it, it, sorry, but that's the one thing I didn't ask. Timing. Is it quarters timed out? No, no, there's no timing. Believe it or not, games usually take like seven, eight minutes to get to 21 points. I mean, oh, you it's are. To 20, it's to 21. Okay. That's so I didn't know. Okay. I was sure what... you know, my, my, uh, my 12, almost 13 year old, when all the kids are playing, like you mentioned, up playing in the cul de sac, I'll be working and they'll be out front playing the game and they'll be like, all right, 56 49. It's like, what are you guys doing? It's supposed to end at 21. And, but, they're... <laughs> but they're having a good time. Yeah. yeah, they're not like us. They're not old guys, right? I mean, yeah. Sometimes if we if we came up with this game when we were like in our twenties, I don't know if it would be the same game. Like we had we had our breaking down bodies in mind. I think well, too. I, you know, I can I can see that. You know, maybe the field would have been uh, sixty instead of twenty or something. You know, I could, uh, or you know, the you know what I'm saying. The the the, uh, the end game of it. I see that. Would you? Uh, I mean, the possibilities are endless. So you could technically, right? If somebody said, "I want to play seven on seven or something," you could make the game bigger. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you can expand it. Which is another cool thing is that you're in control when you when you have the game. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. You're still yeah. going to keep the same concept, right? Like here's the here's the basic idea. Um, but you know, the possibilities are endless. I I dig it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, when are you, I know you said the prototypes and this and that realistically Christmas time. I mean, when, when can we see this thing? And, you know, no, we're hoping we're really hoping like in the next, we have, um, everything we need to have done is done. We just need this, the plastic in our hands. And we have a local company that's doing the, 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 the stamping and getting everything taken care of for us. Once the plastic is here, we can turn everything on. So. We really wanted to go live, um, even the kind of soft launch, uh, the 13th of November, because 13, Stevie Johnson, it would be kind right, of- Right, right. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. That I know I have a lot of people that are going to watch this. A lot of friends of mine are, are going to love this. A lot of them, you know, were, were ball players at some point. I have a lot of friends who were pro ball players in some way, shape, or form, you know, uh, CFL or, 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 you know, great college players. Or even then just the everyday guys who love playing like cornhole, you know, guys who have to be doing something. You can't just sit. If you sit around drinking beers, they can't just sit there. They have to be doing something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, tailgate. I mean, you're talking about tailgates, right? Yeah. And, absolutely. and you know, with the new stadium, uh, well, that's a couple of years. We'll, we'll have it well hit since then. But I'm saying, man, like 
and take it on the road, right? The traveling road show. Start taking this thing to different uh, different tailgates throughout, whether it be college. College is going to be crazy with this, right? I could see this down in, you know, in in, in uh, University of Georgia or, or the big house in Michigan. I can see just it full, you know, of of fast break everywhere, man, and and people having tournaments and. Yeah, I, love, be- I really think it's a really cool idea, and I and I really, you know, I I, I thank you guys for taking the time to explain it. Um, to me and to all the listeners. Um, and we're going to get this going. I, I think leagues are the key here. Yeah, we'd love it. We'd love to, as early as this winter, we'd love to set up some leagues, um, you know, probably target like 12 and up, you know, that that age range. And then even like men's league, things like that. It'd be- I don't want to speak out of line, um, but Stevie is partner- partnering up. Um, do you know Charlie over uh- – over off by the Nike base, uh, Lakeview Road. He's got the big, he's got the big old pole barn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That he does, um, he does baseball. We we do our baseball stuff over there, and he does a ton of football over there. It's a giant pole barn. Charlie Carstead, um, he's linked up with Stevie. They're doing a, a big project, and this facility is perfect. This is like a match made in heaven. And maybe that's what Stevie's already got in mind, but I'm telling you right now, that's a, mm-hmm. that's your South town's location. Cause you're going to need to play it somewhere, you know? Yeah, no, that's exactly right. We're, you know, you said leagues, we really want to get into the schools, of course, because when they're yep. playing in school, it's safe football. It's great. It's wonderful. But when they play it in school, they go home and they say, Hey mom and dad, I really want this game. All right. Great. Right. That's how we're going to build some of that awareness from the, the brand. Love and the- So love it. I'm going to promote the heck out of it. And Charlie's a friend of mine too. So if, if Stevie's already not doing that, I'm going to definitely talk to him about it, man. I can, I can see this really blowing up. So nothing but good things will come out of this. We'll make sure you get a unit for you and your kids so they can play in the cul-de-sac, take videos where one thing that Stevie's, you know, what we're so excited about with his social media presence is we're going to have people, you know, when they follow the Instagram page, um, they can post videos and tag it so that we can start picking like, highlights of the week someday and how cool would it be if stevie hand delivered you know a football that a bunch of kids playing the game you know that won the the trick shot contract you you got you know we'll talk more after this and and you will continue to talk you know and we'll be in communication but i have a lot of ideas too just you know personally with my network and how to get it out and it i truly am excited about it but you know i i knew from the uh from the second i met you guys you guys were very salt of the you know salt of the earth very down to earth cool people and uh, I wish you absolutely nothing but the best with this. I wish you nothing but success. Um, again, thanks for you know taking some time with Moneyball. And um, man, fast break. We're gonna get it out there, boys. Thanks yeah. for having us, man. We're yeah, thank kids. you. We'll be back soon. We'll tell you. We'll, we'll, we'll touch base again real soon. We'll be back on the show and talk about all the big wins. My pleasure. Talk talk soon, guys. Thanks again. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great night. Bye.